In this video, we are going to solve the Schrodinger equation. So the person who proposed this uh, equation is uh, an Australian physicist called Ewin Schrodinger in 1926. For, so this was the equation for finding the wave function of any system. So the time-independent Schrodinger equation for a particle, uh, let's say that particle has uh, the mass m, you know, moving in one dimension with energy E. So the Schrodinger equation will be given by negative h bus over 2m d squared psi over dx plus dvx is equal to ev or v psi is equal to ev like this one. Whereby this factor here, this one, the vx factor is the potential energy of the particle at a point x and uh, this one here it's uh, the kinetic energy or it's related to the kinetic energy so in other words the particle uh, this one this vector here is uh, the potential energy for a particle at this point x here so because the total energy e and of the and the is the sum of the potential energy and the kinetic energy this first term here must be related to the kinetic energy of a particle and then h this h here h bar or uh, h cross uh, is a convenient modification of the Planck's constant so in other words it's related to the Planck's constant through this expression here you can see here that h bar is equal to h uh, the Planck's constant over 2 pi which is equals to 1,05457 times 10 to the power negative 34 like that so that is that so now uh, in 3d or in three dimensional system uh, the Schrodinger equation uh, will be given by negative h bar over 2m del square psi plus v psi uh, it's called to e psi so this is the psi this is e and then this is also the potential psi and then uh, this del squared here this del squared here it's uh, more like uh, so in other words v may depend on the position and the d squared or the del squared will be given by the partial squared over, over dx and uh, dA squared over dy and also d squared over dz like this one so that's the del squared so now uh, there are three equivalent forms of uh, the system in a uh, spherical symmetry so in other words the del will be equals to this one here. This will be the del three of this one here. Whereby now the a or the a squared, this a squared here, will be given by one over sine squared psi d, d squared d psi squared d d phi squared plus one over sine theta d theta sine theta d theta like this one. And uh, when H or the Hamilton operator is, in, is introduced in the system, we can relate it with the Schrodinger equation in this manner. Uh, in other words, in general case, the Schrodinger equation can be written as uh, H psi is equal to E psi, right? Whereby the H is the Hamilton operator and is equals to negative h squared h bar squared over 2m the del squared plus v so for the evolution of a system with time t it is necessary to solve the time dependent Schrodinger equation which will be like this one now h psi is equal to i h bar h h bar or h cross d psi dt like this one so now 
if you check uh this is the Shirondinja equation that i just shown you yeah so from this Shirondinja equation uh making substitution of uh this uh, vx to be equals to v we can rearrange this uh equation now to become d squared d psi over dx squared is equal to negative 2m over h bar squared e minus v psi like this one and then the solution uh, of this one now will be psi is equal to e to the power i k x where k is equal to 2m e minus v over h bar squared to the power 1 over 2 or to the power half so thank you for watching the video if you haven't subscribed to the channel please rush now now and subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification bell so that you will be notified next time when i post a video of this nature